Hello, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, I will be giving you the hack to become a data analysis in four weeks. Yes, you heard me right. I said four weeks. Are you looking to switch a job into a tech role and you want to learn data analysis to enjoy the flexibility of work and aim a high competitive salary? This video is to give you a hack to become a data analysis in four weeks. But before we go into this, I want you to bear in mind the following. Number one, you need to make up your mind that you are going to learn data analysis. I remember when I started, I was a confused dude. I wanted to learn everything. I will move from one skill to another skill to another skill without affecting anyone. So if that is your case, you cannot achieve this. You have to make up your mind that I want to stick with this. Then the next thing you are going to bear in mind is that you are going to be ready to give three hours daily. And the beautiful things about this is that you don't have to quit your job. You can schedule the time within your free time, maybe in the night when you come back from work or in the morning before you go to work. Before we go into the hack, I want you to do something very important, which is to subscribe our YouTube channel if you've not done that. Not because of we want an extra subscriber, but because we want you to be first to partake in any content that we're uploading because we're going to be uploading amazing content to guide you in this your journey. Also, turn off your notifications. I did a previous video on the basic skills, on the five basic skills that data analysis should have. If you've not seen that video, I think you want to see it. So I will drop the video link in the description box so go down to the description box after this and go and watch that that will give you a head start in this your journey Act number one week one you're going to pick week one and you're going to learn the basics of statistics and you're also going to learn a spreadsheet too now when we talk about the basic of statistics you need to refresh your memory on what you did in your high school mathematics on statistics then after that you also need to pick out a spreadsheet now the popular spreadsheet tools we have are google sheet and microsoft excel when i started my i started with microsoft excel so i learned basic how to import data how to do basic cleaning how to build dashboard how to use fiber table and also use a slicer to make your dashboard interactive okay. then after the week one, in this week two, we are going to learn S square, and S square stands for structure query language. Okay, and this is where you learn how to query data using um, a code, writing code to query data from database. This too is very important. So you use the second week to uh, learn it, and you don't need to cram the same test. So what you just need to do is to understand the logic and the structure of the language. We have uh, AI platforms that can help you with any uh, syntax you need in S Square. Okay. So having said that, in week three, you are going to focus in learning a, a BI tool. Popular BI tool we have uh, Power BI or Tablet. During my own time, what I learned was Power BI. I will encourage you to pick one of them and learn. And one of the things you're learning in, in Power BI is how to visualize your analysis okay you learn how to import data from different sources and also how to visualize how to connect table relationship focus in learning bi to in the third week then in the fourth week which is the last week you are going to learn python here you start by learning the basic python logics and structure also you learn some library in python that is required in data analysis libraries like pandas and numpy then after you're done with the four weeks of intensive training boom, you are now in data analysis and then the question is how am i going to land my first job where am i going to go from here but before you land your first job these are the things you need to bear in mind you, number one is to build a portfolio okay and number two is to work on projects that you upload in those your portfolio and these are the things that recruiters will check when they are hiring junior data analysts okay now if you want me to do a video on how to build a portfolio on github please send in the chat session and if i get more requests i'm going to make a comprehensive video on how to build a portfolio on github as a data analyst then also if you also want me to make a videos on projects that you can upload on your portfolio and make that request and i'm going to make a lot of videos on different projects using excel sql power bi Tableau, python the next thing i will advise you to do 
is to look for a tech company that you can work as a volunteer or as an intern. Start applying for junior data analysis role entry level. Okay, at this point, you get a real life project and that's how you develop as a data analyst. With Digital Dream ICT Academy, we offer personalized class and we also offer general class. We can also run online classes for you. Visit any of our offices around Southeast or call the number below.